I keep looking at the Tomb Raider figure and thinking I want to do a repose video on her, but I'll be honest, she's really fun to pose and looks great in so many different poses. I know it would end up being like a half an hour long video, I'm trying to keep the repose videos to about five minutes. Just sort of short and sweet, but she's a really fun one, guys. If you're uh, on the fence about this figure, I think you should just go ahead and get it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and now I'm going to do a repose video on the Pop Toys Tomb Explorer figure. A really fun one to pose, so we'll see what we can get out of her now. Just say before we start off, I've spent a little bit of time, I've always had playlists on the channel. But I've recently put all of the repose videos into a playlist, so it's easy for you to just click on that playlist on the channel. And then you can just watch all the repose videos in a row. Uh, same goes for all the True Light reviews, there's a playlist for that. Uh, all the unboxings, all the reviews, all the showcase videos, all the pose sessions. The pose sessions uh, compared to these repose videos. Uh, the repose is me popping it down on the table here, just busting out a few different poses and then putting it back on the shelf. The pose session videos, now that's a lot more intense. There's way more poses, the videos are longer. It's usually music and backgrounds, different lighting, uh, a bit more fancy. So definitely check out the uh, pose session on this particular piece. So I really got her in some cool poses for that one. Quite proud of that vid. But this one is just about finding a nice new pose for her to be displayed in the uh, well in the collection room on the shelf up there. So we'll see what we can get her to do. So yeah, check out those playlists. It should make it nice and easy for you to enjoy the whatever type of video you're in the mood for. Alright, let's get stuck in. So I've just got the guns raised up, as you can see, just a great looking piece. Even in something as simple a pose as this, just raising up the arms and having the guns drawn. Always uh, bring that ponytail around so you can at least see it from the front. So it is a nice little bit of a mixed technique there, sculpted hair on the actual head sculpt. Coming into actual real rooted hair for the ponytail. Very nice. The backpack straps can hide the uh, shoulder joints, which I haven't actually bothered to do just yet. It's not so bad on this side. Just needs a little tweak on that side, but overall, it's quite a simple but effective pose. Just about to leap into a somersault and start firing off those guns. Tomb Raider. Pretty much the same thing again, but just spread the arms out. I like this as well. Again, nothing's too uh, stressed out. You could leave it like this long term with no worries. That just looks really cool. Not the one I'll be leaving her in, but I certainly wouldn't mind if it was. Just a great looking figure. Really, really happy with this one. My eye keeps going to it whenever I'm uh, looking around that particular shelf up there where she lurks. I uh, always end up looking at her. Great piece. Really cool figure. This actually looks really cool from the back as well. I like the way that looks. Looks like she's leaning forward a little bit. That might be because I pushed her feet too far back. I should fix that. But yeah, just all around. You could have this on a rotating base. And uh, just have her turning around like this, and that would look really cool. It looks awesome from any angle. It's nice when you uh, do these little reposes because it can make you sort of reappreciate something all over again. I mean, I've always appreciated this one since I got it. I was quite surprised by how much I like it in the end. I knew I wanted a Tomb Raider figure in the collection. It was a bonus that it was going to be the Jolie version. But I was actually really surprised in the end just how much I liked this piece. I mean, just look at that. It's a fine figure. The head sculpt is fantastic. Outfit's really cool. I mean, everything's there. It's all legit Tomb Raider. So the pose I actually really want to have her in for quite a while now is uh, like I did in either the review or the pose session video. There was one pose where she was holding up this kind of glow stick. I think these are the ones that you kind of either bend and then they you sort of snap them into action and they start to glow. Or it might be some other kind of uh, light. But that's how I always imagine it's one of those ones you kind of either shake or you, you sort of bend it click it into action and it just lights up for a while. So I have maybe uh, one arm obviously holding this up and the other arm holding onto a gun. 
maybe have her looking up into the uh, sort of not completely up into the sky but as if she's walked into a tomb and she's using the light to uh, highlight the walls so she can read the ancient text and find her prize just keep looking at the figure man it's amazing really really happy with this piece I know I keep repeating myself but just looking at it it's like damn that is a cool 1-6 scale figure I did intend to change out the body for a TB League uh, body instead but I couldn't find a skin tone that matched just yet I will eventually so I'll be coming back to you with an update on this figure once that actually happens but uh, yeah still got to find a matching skin tone of a TB League body if anyone watching actually knows what body that would be you go ahead and let me know. I'll get that done. Okay, stop. Stop. Stop looking at it. It's too awesome. Alright, so I've changed out the hand and put the light in there. And this is not the pose that she's going to be in, but the arm will be in that position. I just haven't actually changed this side of her body yet. But I just wanted to show it because I thought that looked quite cool. It's... Um, Always another option, I guess. Quite like that. Although she's no longer pointing at anything anymore. She's looking at this direction and the gun's going off this way somewhere. Let me just tweak that. Yeah, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Not too bad. Yeah, looks cool. I've always liked the look of this figure holding up the light. I don't know, it just tells a story. You know, Laura Croft has plenty of those to go around. Alright, let me final, finalize this up. But that looks pretty cool too. Yeah, I can't recommend this piece enough, guys. I don't know how much it will cost you. It wasn't very expensive, to be honest, because it's uh, it's not Hot Toys or Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, it's by a company called Pop Toys. But, uh, yeah, for full details, full review, all the poses... Check out, the, you got an unboxing video I've done on this one, uh, the full review, that was really epic, like 40 minutes long or something. And like I say, the pose session video, that's definitely the one you need to watch. This is just a little repose session, just to uh, change her look up a bit, get her looking fresh on the shelf. Alright, let me finalize this bad boy, or should I say, bad woman. Okay, that is the one. That is the one I've been meaning to put her in for a while now, and I'm really happy with the way that looks. I've probably got a little bit too much light shining right directly onto her right now. She's looking very overexposed. Let me just dial that back a little bit for you, but yeah, that looks absolutely perfect. Uh, I've just spread the legs a little bit, give her more of a sturdy planting on the ground to also suggest power as well. That's uh, something you tend to do with your Batman figures when he's standing. In one spot, you kind of spread the legs out and get them firmly planted on the ground. Just uh, kind of suggests power to me. But yeah, she's not looking at the light. She's just using the light to illuminate what she's looking at. She's still got the gun at the ready, but in a relaxed kind of way. It's just, it's not in your face. It's just down by her side. Turn the wrist slightly outward. Look at that. It is absolute Tomb Raider right there. This is definitely the angle it's meant to be seen from. I love that. That just... It just works a treat for me. I mean, what a figure. Look at that. It's just really, really good. Hell of a figure. Uh, how about this angle? That looks cool too. Very nice. But yeah, at least from this view, no visible joints. She has the watch on this wrist to cover up the joints, but there isn't anything on this wrist. She does come with some black socks, and I used the uh, black socks to create some little black wristband here for her. Because otherwise that wrist joint would be exposed. So that's actually the top of her sock. That I don't use anyway. So she's got the big boots on this. You wouldn't see the sock anyway. So I just use them as uh, material. To cover up the one joint that was showing. But yeah what a piece man. Can't say that enough. I know I have said it enough. <laughs> you probably think shut the hell up. 
but yeah i just really 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 dig this figure okay so let me get her back on the shelf i'm really really happy with that i bet she's gonna look awesome let's do this All right. careful come on laura let's get you back on display love this piece man so glad i got it let's just head back over to the spot Let me just turn on these lights. There we go. Full illumination. Yep, that's the one. That just makes the figure look even better than it already is. I mean, that's pretty much the perfect pose for her right there. Tells a story, like I said. Entering a new tomb. absolutely love this figure look at that let me know what you think in the comments I'll leave uh, some links in the information section underneath this video to the previous videos especially that post session one you definitely got to check that out if you haven't seen it and if you have seen it watch it again <laughs> all right absolutely loving that that this might be my favorite repose video so far and it took a Pop Toys figure to do it. Just a stunning piece. I mean, the head sculpt is really just the icing on the cake. It's just a really, really good likeness. Especially for an unlicensed, you know, unofficial figure. I'm absolutely loving that. Okay. So there's Tomb Raider, all posed up. Probably won't change that one for some time really really happy with that one all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you real soon take it easy bye bye